Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Ben Frechette. Well, we have some clear skies across the region today. Now, while that means we're not tracking much in the way of snow showers, it means that our temperatures got quite chilly last night. We'll take you on over to the capital city right now, Montpelier. You can see the Christmas tree that they just lit up a couple days ago in front of the state house. And look at the temperature, two below right now in Montpelier. The calm winds helping temperatures drop like a rock the past night and the clear skies of course helped as well. We're not tracking anything in terms of rain or snow today, but check out this warm front that's starting to work its way into the region. That'll bring us a little bit more in the way of cloud cover in the afternoon and also allow us to rise back into the 30s. We'll also bring us some wind too. We'll talk about that in just a second, but first, We'll take a look at temperatures. We've gone ahead and highlighted the areas that are below or at zero this morning. You can see a lot of us in the Connecticut River Valley, especially the upper valley down there, two below in Lebanon, three below Springfield, seven below in Keene, and even parts of the Adirondacks as well, like Saranac Lake at 10 below. Generally single digits in the Champlain Valley, but still a cold start for everybody. This is about 10 to 15 degrees colder than normal for this time of year. Now, as I mentioned, we actually do get a little bit warmer than we were uh, yesterday. We have clouds thickening up in the afternoon, but we get back into the 30s. Notice those south winds, though, starting to ramp up in the afternoon hours. That's what's going to allow us to warm up a little bit more, but they could become a bit disruptive. We'll time it out for you now, looking at future wind gusts. Check it out. Look what happens as we head into the early afternoon. We're already talking about gusts in the 25 to 30 mile per hour range in the Champlain Valley, also parts of the St. Lawrence Valley as well. And then by the time we get to Sunday evening, we could see gusts up to 40 in spots. Look at 38 right now uh, is what we're calling for in Burlington. So again, if you have some loose Christmas decorations, the morning may be a good time to go out and secure those before the winds do ramp up later today. And as we take you into Monday as well, these winds just kind of hang around. That uh, comes as we get a lot of rain in the picture um, as well. We'll show you how that plays out on Futurecast now, taking you through the rest of your Sunday. And see the clouds starting to come in in the latter half of the day, but not a lot in the way of precipitation. So a lot of your day is going to be dry. Now as we take you into Monday, Notice we have a little bit of freezing rain happening east of the north or east of the Green Mountains in the Northeast Kingdom. That's because we'll still have some colder air trapped at the surface. So I do think the Monday morning commute could be a little bit slick in spots of the NEK, something to keep in mind if you plan on heading out tomorrow. And then a bunch of rain moves in in the latter half of the day, and we hang around with the rain uh, all the way through Tuesday. Strong cold front sweeps the rain out of here as we head into Tuesday night into Wednesday. In terms of how much to expect, we'll call it a quarter to about three quarters of an inch. Some spots may approaching the one inch mark. Snow melt, not a big deal. We don't really have a lot of snow on the ground in northern Vermont and New York. However, parts of southern Vermont, that could be a bit of a concern, especially in the areas that got over 20 inches of snow a few days ago. And as we head into Wednesday, some leftover snow showers, but we clear out Thursday and Friday. Temperatures back in the 20s, and then we're tracking another storm moving in next weekend.